back on Mississippi Acres once again today, and we have probably hunted this map more consistently as of late, maybe than we ever have, other than right after release. But the map's been produced and we've been killing a bunch of trophies, so if it ain't broke, why fix it? So, of course, our main goal here on Mississippi is to get a gold rare gator. That's been a quest of ours for a couple of years now, but you may be able to tell, even without binoculars, one of these whitetail isn't exactly like the other. I happen to spot this guy out here, a 147 to 188 piebald whitetail buck, and we're literally just on our way to this lake up here in the Gator Lakes area. So we do have a really good weapon for a kind of a weird angle shot. It's a little over 100 meters. And that, with the 44, is going to drop him in his tracks. And I think it's kind of been this approach that we take to Mississippi there's been why it's constantly producing trophies. Now, last hunt, we did manage to get a rare gator. It wasn't a gold, but it was close. But we also have gotten things like the leucistic turkey, an albino raccoon. We had two rare green winged teal in the same general area. Instead of just hunting only the spots where there's gators, we kind of pass through the fields and sort of work towards those areas. And time and time again, we find stuff like this. 188 indeed makes sense right at the top of his estimate. And that 44 round, stomach, liver, and both lungs. Not a bad way to get us going, so we'll see if there's any gators up there. But we'll certainly take a piebald buck as our literal first kill of the hunt. So, perhaps a bit more calmly, we can try to take a level seven gator, because already, given the sort of chaos of finding a rare as our first thing, I forgot to mention, we have the Valentine's Day cosmetics on all of our weapons. And maybe they can bring us, or maybe they already have brought us, a little bit of additional luck. Did that second shot, like, miss or something? Because I don't understand how he wasn't already going down. Third shot obviously got him. And there was a... Wait a minute. There was a 7 and an 8. I'm pretty sure I came over here for the 8 and just forgot. <laughs> either way, we'll take a level 7. Not like either of those were the specific thing we're after. But let's take a quick look here. Yeah, we, no, we hit him in the lung the first time. I guess second shot completely missed. And then the third shot through both lungs brought him down a lot more quickly. So just super fast as we head off, we'll go through our entire loadout. We have the 12 gauge over under, just to kind of switch things up. Can't hardly see the camo when the sun's glaring off it. Obviously the 44 lever action. We have the 243 as another kind of change of pace with that new pink metal. And we've got the premium wrap on the 22. So of course, I just introduced our entire loadout, including that shotgun, and I think these quail are just out of range. I mean, we'll try it. I can't even see what we're doing. I don't think that hit. There were two more in the back. They're not special either. Wait a minute. We got that? It didn't insta-kill him, which I thought was the only way you could kill quail. I didn't even realize you could kind of like wound them and have them continue flying for a little bit. That was 83 meters away. One pellet caught him almost right in the neck. 202 scoring Brown. I mean, we will certainly take that. And that's kind of the thing. We're going to be running through the fields, going, you know, through the territory of basically everything on the map as we pass between some of the better gator spots. And it gives us that opportunity to find all kinds of stuff. Well, it's about that time. We're going to go over here and hunt the west side of the map along the river. And for whatever reason, we get way more aggressive gators when we hunt over here than literally anywhere else. Now, somehow, that first shot hit a vital. I'd love to know what it actually hit. And then the second shot, obviously, we kind of got a little further left, and I think that makes sense. But not only are there more aggressive gators up here, there's just a whole bunch of them that basically line this river. So if there's a chance of getting a rare, this may be the best spot on the map to do it. Just to see. Oh wow, we just kind of skimmed the outside edge of the left lung. Double lung, you know, more center punch, kind of the chest area the second time. 357 score for him. Let's start moving up through here, see what we can find, and frankly, what can find us. And I mean, moving on up, got a level 7 this time. Trying to get one of these shots, we got the spinal cord there, I think. Trying to get one to go straight through the brain. Oh, how do we... No, we did hit the neck. Not the brain like I wanted, but... It was the first shot that was really the the more impactful shot. We hit the, it looks like, just vertebrae and lungs here. I don't think we got the spinal cord. 
We may have, it's kind of hard to tell, but either way, gold at 402. I feel like we're lagging a little bit, maybe even a lot of bit when we're claiming stuff on the surface. So hopefully it's all going to be good. We'll at least run this entire river because, I mean, we're over here. And as long as everything cooperates, we can probably still hang around. And actually, I think this is going to end up being our last one on the river. Just so happens we got leapfrogged, which is totally fine. We'll probably go to somewhere else and maybe even try to go through the fields a bit because we've gotten into specifically gator hunting quite a bit for the last little while. But going up any further, we're just going to kind of run into each other. So I think we'll leave the river from here and try to go and find something else on the map. We already did get the piebald whitetail, but I'd imagine there's some other good stuff somewhere out here. 398 though for him. Let's see if we can continue getting some better sized stuff in another area. Well, I thought maybe we could add something. Been tracking a max estimate wild hog, and it's the black variant, which is actually the one variant that we don't have a diamond of that I really, really want, obviously other than like a super rare. But, what are the odds? Being level four, that one's not going to quite be there. He literally went to lay down right when we shot. Second shot, I believe, ended up going through the vitals anyway, so should be good. And hopefully it doesn't go too far. It looked like the health was going down fast. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, he made it all of about 15 meters? We only hit him once. So the first shot, I guess, went over top of him when he went to lay down. Either way, only 166 kilos and a 119 score, so pretty low in that max weight range. But... You may have noticed today, we haven't been hunting nearly as many quail, especially as in the last video. And the reason for that is, on Monday's live stream, we made it so that hunting for a diamond quail is much less of an issue now. Oh, God. Okay. Are they coming this way or are they going the other way? You have to be kidding me. They control... Big male. <laughs> they control, but that is what we're here for. And you gotta kill them out of the air. So there's some quail coming back our way. What are the odds that... Boy, he's just flying forever, too. What are the odds he lands and flies back at us? And the thing that sucks, we're just not gonna be able to keep him spotted forever. And once he hits the ground... There we go. He's gonna land. We're going to have to, like, unspot him, probably. And then we just kind of hope they come back this way. I'm going to bank on them doing that. Yeah, they're coming back, but where is he? He's got to be in there. He's going to back up a little bit. Has to be one of these. Where? <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. I don't like this that one. Okay. They're not landing yet. None of the other ones are. Got him. Oh boy. If this makes it, this is going to be so dumb. <laughs> like, actually stupid. Fingers crossed. Let's go. It's the gray variant too. I really like the gray variant. 242 is nice. Like, I know it's only four above diamond, but that, like, in quail term, that's a big deal. That's a lot. One pellet in the leg. Alright, so who wants to go make a multi mount with a diamond quail and a great one moose? So after all that time spent in our video over the weekend here on Mississippi, tracking quail, trying to find a trophy quail, we ended up having one on our single player map during the live stream, took him down, and now we've got the multi mount done with our great one moose. So we'll be taking our piebald whitetail back to the trophy lodge and we'll take a look at our multi mount with the quail as well. But that is why we've been focused a little bit more on gators today. But even still, like we've done for all these hunts, I want to go through the fields. We had that chance of finding cool stuff. And if we didn't do that, we may not have a piebald whitetail today. Well, unfortunately, especially considering we are not chasing a gator right now, I don't think we'll be lucky enough to complete both of our Mississippi Acres goals just a couple of days apart. But frankly, I think getting that diamond quail was probably the more difficult of the two goals to accomplish, or at least the more kind of frustrating one to actually engage in trying to accomplish. Gator hunting is not typically difficult. Sometimes you find them, sometimes they find you, but they're not too hard to spot or anything like that. 
What is hard to do is shoot through a tree, by the way. That was definitely not going to work. Let's try that again. If she'll maybe slow down just a little bit for us. She should go to a trot here. Maybe even going broadside, that would be better. That's a little more like it. But anyway, when it comes to quails, you basically need the warning call or mating call or maybe tracks to even find the flocks. They're such small birds. They disappear in grass like this. So that's a huge deal for us. And, and frankly, whether it is a rare gold gator or a rare gold croc, they both can go on those plaques. I think it's going to be nice to be able to fully focus on those eventually. But we are going to go back to the trophy lodge. We'll take a look at the new multi-mount with our great one moose and our diamond quail. And that's yet another thing crossed off the list in very short order here. We've gotten both of the great ones we were missing and now the diamond to go with our great one moose. Now, if you didn't catch Monday's live stream, we have kind of moved the lodge around a little bit. Basically, I wanted to make it so that all of our great one multi-mounts are visible from the moment we enter the door. And that's what we've got going on now in this center hallway. But the newest one with our great one moose and our diamond quail. And by the way, the, the mount's a little bit glitchy. If we use the camera, like I'd like to zoom in on it and show you the quail in the mount, it disappears. So what we'll have to do instead is rely on the investigate feature. But we've got a 242 gray plumage type diamond quail. I really like that variation. And it's the rarity in that mount. I mean, a great one moves, obviously, insanely rare. But diamond quail in their own right are pretty darn hard to find as well. So I just think that's really cool. We've got a multi-mount for every single one of our great ones in the lodge. And a single player Mississippi Acres stream is where we get that diamond quail. I, I mean, fitting, right? The, the great one moose was on stream. Our diamond quail was on stream. Now they're forever in that multi-mount together, and I think that is pretty darn cool. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.